Are you drinking dead water? Have you been told that TDS is bad for you? In this video, we will debunk the myths about dead water, TDS, and reverse osmosis filtration. Claim number one. High TDS is a measure of bad water quality. This is false. TDS, which equals total dissolved solids, is primarily a measure of healthy minerals and salts that your body needs. Claim number two. The World Health Organization says that high TDS is bad for you. This is false. The WHO states that there's no direct link between TDS and water potability. They say that TDS above 1000 may impact taste and above 1500 is a possible sign of non-potable water. Claim number three. If your water has high TDS or is considered unsafe to drink, then you need an RO filter. This is false. Water filters offer a great solution for clean water, but you don't need an RO filter. Thanks to recent innovation and ultrafiltration, there are now simpler and more sustainable water filter solutions. For example, ultra by tap water. Claim number four. Reverse osmosis filters deliver dead water. This is true. Fishes, for example, will die in dead water where all the minerals have been removed. By removing all the minerals, RO filters create dead water with a flat taste. So to summarize, TDS is not a water quality indicator. If anything, drinking mineral rich water with high TDS is good, not bad as long as the water tastes good. Water quality is a major issue in much of the world, but you don't need an RO filter. If you are worried about pathogens and other contaminants in your tap water, then there are other great alternatives.